not teaching you. What I'm doing is, is trying to having a good conversation with you, as I started earlier. Right. So, as you said, which is incorrect, I am not testing God. Well, I am. Not. You are interrupting very well, rudely. I live by the scriptures. You are. And the scriptures say, "Thou shalt not put thy God, thou um, thy God to the test." I thought. Okay? I thought you're going so to we don't go have a respectful we conversation, don't go around, which we you don't are go, not listen, having. Listen. No. In the beginning, you said. Mm -hmm. Is it true, if I seek the Lord thy God with all of thy heart, thy soul and thy might, I will find him? I didn't say that. That was your first question. No, it wasn't. Then you're a liar. No, I you're said... You're a hypocrite. Um, listen. You're a liar and you're a hypocrite. That listen. was the first thing you listen said Listen to, to what I said. Okay? My God works in um, secret. He allow doesn't me. reveal himself to everybody. Calm down. If he did... Relax. If he did... Relax. If he did, then the whole world will see him and the whole world will okay. be serving him and obeying him. What he I said... He kept himself secret for a reason okay. and for a purpose. Only those... Tell me when you're only finished. Only those... Only those who want to serve him and who want to seek him and who want to have a relationship with him, find him. That's why he's invisible. That's why he's an invisible God. Okay, thank you. Now you're going to now very nicely like a lady, very good lady, will hear what I have to say in response. Firstly, I wasn't testing God. I was going to well, test. You, are. you were interrupting said, again you very said, come rudely. Come to the hospital. I can interrupt um, whenever I wish. You said come to the hospital um, and heal the sick. That is putting God to the test. That is making a mockery of his system. That's not how it works. Um, if you've got six people, people what's all this? bring them to the church. What is that? Bring them to the church. Listen. Bring them to the church. Relax. That is passion. Relax. That relax. is passion. Don't... I'm on fire right now. No, no. You're suffering from what we right call now. an inferiority I'm complex. Right now. I'm on fire right now. Bring it. Bring it. Good. Bring it. So relax with your fire. No, no, no. So, why, why why should I? Why should I? Okay, don't relax. Because you don't have boil, it. Boil, boil. You don't so have it. Let me continue. You don't have it. Thank you. Keep on boiling. Keep on boiling. You don't have it. So can I speak? You have worldly wisdom. Can I speak? Which is futile. Can I speak? And you're darkened in your understanding. Am I? And you're blinded from the truth. Do I have the right to speak in response? Speak. Thank you. So what it, it makes means? Makes sense. Um, if I don't even open my mouth and speak, how would you know am I making sense or not? So point number one. At the moment you're speaking, but you're speaking so well you are not. Wisdom. So you are not and allowing speaking, me to speak. I'm speaking, I'm speaking truth. You I'm are not spirit. allowing me the to speak. The words that I'm speaking are spirit, but you cannot understand okay. them because you're in the natural. So at what point can I speak? Speak now. Okay, so you're going to be quiet, right? Speak now. Thank you. So she's going to be quiet. Excellent. So let's test her quietness. That's what I'm doing. Not testing God, testing your quietness. No, you're testing so, my authority over you. So you have no authority over me. Do you know why? Because you, you only have a loud, you have a loud he voice. From above is above all um, I could you're be loud me. because people know I can be very loud if he I want to. From but above I don't want to. Is above all. Uh, can I'm I speak now? Above. You are earthly. Can I speak? And you speak in an earthly manner. You speak in an earthly form. Can I speak now? I'm a spirit. The words that I'm speaking, they're spirit. Okay. Are you finished? What else? What else? Thank you. Are you a Muslim? So here and it is. And you're conversing with a woman so who now, can challenge you. I did not. Who can challenge you oh, to this I can't degree? Speak now. A Muslim, you're mm. talking, you're conversing with a woman who can challenge you to this degree. So now, this because your women have to walk content. behind you. Your women have to walk behind you. And what else? Because they're second citizens. Oh, really? So I'm, the, I'm made in the image of the living God. In okay? fact, my voice walks in front of me. I am made, I'm made in the image of the living God. Okay. And you think covering up yourself, covering up your women makes them holy. No. Okay. Holiness is in the mind. Okay. okay. It's how you think. So now here, it's how you reason. the criteria okay? of miracles that we were discussing, I wasn't testing God. I was going to test. Yes, you did test God. Are you ashamed now? Do you have Are a, you a problem mere man listening? Are you a mere man? Think you can test and challenge a living God? The God who never sleeps nor slumbers? Have you the ever God learned who how to... The universe who spoke everything into existence? Have you ever learned you how to listen God? without you a talking? Man? You a man, a mere man, a mere mortal. Have you learned... His creation. With a creator now challenge a creator. Okay. Let me finish. With a creator now challenge a creator because that is what you've done. Own up to it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Are you finished? Right. Thinking my so, so this yeah. is a test for someone who is able to listen or not. I don't if need she keeps, to listen to you. So that means you, you don't, don't even have to the listen to you. ability to listen. Because No, because your flesh. God did not give flesh. us one ear. God is he a gave spirit. two ears God is a and spirit. one mouth. God is a spirit. And okay. yet. God is a spirit. You know what? If you bring another spirit here, we can converse quite. Because we're, we're the same. Because he who's from above sure. is above all. So I'm so, above you. Look, I could, I could ignore you, but that will be seen disrespectful. So I would like to you have a conversation. You can't disrespect me. Okay, I will just now. You can't disrespect me. Just watch. Me. So as I was speaking, I was speaking to a lady earlier on, who I'm not going to speak anymore, and I asked her. Fine. 
I asked her, how do we, I'm speaking to the people who would be listening, willing to listen. So I was trying to find out, how do we authenticate a book which is from God? Is on a criteria which we can use to test the authenticity of, the, of any book from God? She was not willing to give criteria and spent about half an hour after this brother. Criteria! Because otherwise everyone can believe I believe in this book is from God. So finally she came with a criteria of personal experience. And I debunked that by saying and demonstrating that everyone's personal experience can lead to believing in a different book. So that personal experience is not sufficient to authenticate a divine origin of a book. So I crossed off personal experience as a criteria. Then, after persistence, she came up with the idea of, oh, God healing the sick, blah, 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 all these miracles. So it's a good criteria. Does that book actually demonstrate that, yes, there are miracles? So I asked her simply, have you witnessed any of those miracles mentioned in the book? Were you there? Obviously, she wasn't talking about those miracles, she, just, she has witnessed miracles herself. So instead of talking about the miracles in the book, she is now saying, I have witnessed miracles myself. Okay, never mind. What have you witnessed? She has witnessed people, deaf people. I mean, her own experience was she had a scar that turned into a mole and disappeared just like that. And then she has seen people who are deaf becoming fully hearing, people who are lame, they start walking. I asked her, can this be repeated again in the name of God? She corrected me. She says, no, in the name of Christ, Jesus. I said, fine. In the name of Jesus, can this be replicated again? Can you do that again? Because I work in a hospital where there are people indeed who are deaf. There are people indeed who can't walk because this is disabled. She says, no, this is in a nutshell. You have to come to the hospital of God, which is the church, right? So that means if I take those sick people to her church we can see the miracles and by questioning that she was saying i'm testing god i wasn't testing god i was testing those miracle workers whether they're fake or they're real because we know from experience personal experience which we discount i will discount too that there are almost every single one of them that we know of are fake they're fake miracle workers these TV evangelists are fake. So what happened, she realized, because we were speaking sense, making sense that yes, you need criteria to authenticate, to verify a book is from God. She wasn't going to allow me to speak or continue with this criteria. She would bring up so many other things like issues of gender. Oh, you leave your woman walking behind you. What's that got to do with the criteria of proving Bible is from God? So this demonstrates the insecurity and the inferiority complex of these people who call themselves Christians. So those of you who are trying to learn and become a invitee or da'i or da'iya to Islam, this is one thing that you have to learn. There are people who go by emotions and not by intellect. They are only emotional individuals and they would not understand anything which are sensible, reasonable, to do with intellect. So your invitation to these people have to have a different approach. Intellect doesn't work with these people. They are allergic to intellect or intellectual discussions. It has to be some kind of emotional approach to them. If you bring personal experience, it's not going to help either. But sadly, she left before we could demonstrate to you how to actually crack open these people's minds and ideas in reason because you cannot reason with them so this is one lesson for today there are people who are not open to reason and you have to find ways to discuss with the people who are unreasonable whether you just walk away like i would have done or whether you say you know what I leave it to someone else who can talk to you emotionally charged because she is on fire, she said. She was on fire.
So I let her boil on fire. And let's leave it to that. Thank you for listening to the, the commentary of what I just witnessed, but that's the reality of our world where people are like this. May Allah guide us closer and closer to the truth.